All right, y'all, let's get into it. We ain't about to waste no time. Who we got here? We got Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. About to eat. Mr. Beast. Face your biggest fear to win $800,000. Okay, Mr. Beast, let's get into it. So this guy here, I'm guessing, he's going to face his biggest fear for $800,000. I mean, why you get that man a million? You should have yeah, another extra 200 on that, man. What you talking about? <laughs> Anyways, it's all good. Hey, anything is better than nothing, right? See y'all. Let's go. Hit that like button, subscribe. My friend Mac is about to experience the scariest moment of his life. I'm just going to let you know, I'm not afraid of anything. We'll see. You cannot scare him. Seal him up. You have to survive 10 minutes with a thousand spiders to move up. Oh, release the... Ooh, look at the money. <laughs> spiders. Doing this is because Max said no matter how hard I try, I can't scare. Would you say you're scared now? Mm, nah, I'm not scared of spiders neither. They're actually pretty cool, and none of these bite, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> like obviously, none of these bite, obviously. There ain't no black widows in here, nope, because you'll see the big booty. You know what I'm saying? These are just normal, they just kill like gnats and bugs and things like that. He's a normal. He shouldn't be scared at all. And this is only one of many fears Mac will face in the video. <sighs> okay. And if he can successfully face all of the fears, he will win $800,000. I'm not going to lie. This is way more gnarly than I thought it would be. Three, two, one. Lift it up, lift it up. Oh, yeah. Congratulations on passing the first challenge. Good job, bro. Good job. And again, they're only fears. It's not like he's gonna kill you. It's all you gotta do is last and survive, basically. Like, it's the same as real life, literally. Literally. The man has to finish all of these fears if he wants to win that $800,000. Your whole life, you're working through your fears. That's exactly what you're doing until enlightenment. Like, literally. <laughs> like, what are you scared of? Go to church. Raise us up! Okay, so this is the bungee one, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, okay, you can hold on to it. That's cute. Uh, oh, my God. Okay. Mac, take off your blindfold. Welcome to challenge number two. Oh. The next fear is the fear of heights. You're going to stand on the end of that plank, unclip this, so you'll be connected to nothing. No, dude. Press that button. And then free fall 200 feet. And without knowing how, trust, I'll catch you. No, no. You're man. shaking. Yeah, of course I'm shaking. I'm going to fall off of this into, without a harness on? Yeah. I can't even see the ground. Uh, 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 be careful. Man, I'm just going to tell you, even though you can't see the ground, you are very, very high. Oh, my God. All you have to do is unclip it and press that button. Oh, my God. Okay. I want you to look at me in the eyes right now yeah. and tell me that I'm going to fall and something's going to catch me. Duh. You can't even record the video if you if something's not going to catch you and make sure that you're safely going to be alive at the end of this video. Duh. That's my whole point. He can't record these videos unless you're going to be alive at the end of it. It doesn't, it doesn't work. If the person X's out. You see what I'm saying? And so it's like, duh. Something will break your fall, I promise. Oh, you can't call somebody bluff? It's too easy. Oh my god, the clip is gone. That's oh too easy. You don't have to Poker call, faces you don't work for me. <laughs> just admit it's easy to call people bluff, bro. No way. Oh, you god, dude. Ah! I would have to say, you look pretty scared. Oh my god. Five, it's gotta be something down there to catch. That's why it's so dark. Two, one. Godspeed. Godspeed. Zero. Alright, let's see. It has to be. See, told you. I can't believe you did it. Told you. It's obvious, man. 
I would have did it. It's obvious, bro. You're not finna let this man just fall down there and die. So it has to be something to catch him. That's obvious, bro. Like, it's common sense. He's a psycho. <laughs> And if you're wondering who my psychotic friend Matt is, he's actually a contestant from a previous challenge video. And sadly, he ended up losing $800,000. But now he is on challenge three of six to attempt to win that money back. Yeah, he's gonna get it. Here we are. He's gonna get it. The next challenge. Okay. Why don't you get a five dollar car? Put eight hundred grand inside of it. <laughs> As you can see, this car is pointed towards the lake. I'm guessing you're gonna want me to drive the car into the lake. No. That would be dangerous. As you can see, there's no gas pedal. Obviously, you can't drive it in the lake. Yeah, I'm so stupid. Why would I think that I can drive it into the lake? Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. stupid, yeah. Which is why we're going to drop him in the lake. <laughs> oh, oh, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. What is getting real now? Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, you should have put him in a Lamborghini and then dropped him in the lake. A brand new one at that. Everybody would have been mad. They'd have been commenting like, "No, not the brand new Lamborghini, y'all. He just trashed it. Oh my gosh, he just be throwing away money." Hey man, this is what I'm talking about. Mr. Beast understands how to unlock the human brain. I'm sure of it now. I don't watch too many of his videos, and they either 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 he doesn't know, either he does know, or he doesn't know. But he is working through the high most. I can definitely tell. I can definitely tell. Oh my God. All right, Mac, listen up and listen good. Once we drop That's what it's all about, getting y'all humans out of y'all fears. Seat. In the back seat is the 80- All right. Now what? Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, Mac, listen up and listen good. Once we drop you at this lake, the car will quickly begin to sink. And in the back seat is the 800 grand you've been competing for, divvied up into eight duffel bags. However many bags you can save from this sinking car determines how much money you'll continue competing for in this video. What? I mean. what? So he gotta grab all eight bags. <laughs> In the sinking water too. Okay, 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 okay. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I would have already opened up two of them doors. Two of them doors would have been cracked already. They'd already been cracked. I would have had it already cracked because I'm already knowing how the water is, and once you open that door, that water gonna rush in. So I already already had it cracked. So go ahead, go ahead and fill up the car already to balance and level it out. Had a, two two of the duffel bags would have been in the front seat with me. At least not nah, six of them would have been in the front seat already. Go back and grab the two, last two in the back. Like you got you got to think about this real smart. That's the case. Gone forever. What like that is? It ain't gone forever. Trust me. Somebody gonna find it. What like that is? We go find it. It's like gone forever. That's a hundred thousand in a bag. Just let us know what what, what lake is that. We gonna find it. <laughs> You feel me? Somebody's gone for it. It ain't gone for ever, but somebody gonna find it. The people working, they they paying attention. They somebody gonna find it. As close as you can be right now, I'm feeling. I can tell. Before we drop your car, I'm gonna give you one offer. If you quit right now and admit I scared you, I'll give you a hundred thousand dollars, and we call it even. No. No. Yeah. All right. He's not gonna take it. There's not a guy. I knew that was coming. Hey, no, let's take that. I knew he was gonna do this. I lost it all last time. It's not happening again. Three, two, all right, get ready, bro. One. Oh my god. Get in that back seat and get that money. Quickly. 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 What are you doing? You've got about 20 seconds to break out of that car before it sinks under the water. Okay, so there is no. Okay. And get your legs from under the steering wheel, bro. He's like, he's supposed to be standing in the seat right now. He's sitting down. He ain't got no leverage. You just doing this. If you was standing up, man, you would have, like, you got more, like, come on, bro. You should have been had the bags in the front seat. I told y'all, as soon as the car hit that, hit, hit the water, he should have went ahead and grabbed them bags. Get them bags, bro. Throw the money out. Matter of fact, yeah, just throw it out. Just throw it out the window. Hurry up. Oh, the whole front of the car just went down. Oh. It's soon, man, boy. Man, boy. <laughs> he 
throw them bags out that damn window, man. It would take you so long to get a. You can't get the bag out the back seat. Man. That sunk so fast. Yeah. Oh my God. Once it got into the engine, because the engine is so heavy, everything else in the car is just air. There's nothing else in the trunk. There's nothing else in the middle of the car. The engine, once the engine sink, is over with. I know that. Okay. The scariest. Okay, okay, so he can go back down. Oh, oh, okay, okay, we Gucci then. Nah, we Gucci then. If he can, he can go back up and down. I thought he had to get all the bags out before the car sunk. But if he can go back down, grab a bag, and bring it back up, man, man, we got all eight hundred, then, bro. We Gucci. This part about this challenge is every second the car sinks deeper into the water, making it harder oh. to get to and harder to see. How far? So how far down is it? To keep all this prize money, he really needs to be moving as fast as possible. Yeah, grab more one, more than one bag, then. It's not gonna be easy. And then the pressure is gonna get harder too. The pressure. How deep is that thing? Good job. But on top of the fact that the car is sinking deeper and deeper, what Mac hasn't realized yet is that the last two bags of money are actually seat belted into the back seat of the car. Seat belt. Dark down there too. I ain't gonna lie. Could be an action movie, honestly. But he was like a borderline Olympic swimmer earlier in his life, which is why I did this fear. Wait, but it's like 40 feet down, and the water is freezing cold. How can he hold his breath that long? If he did swimming, then he know what I know. Holding the breath underwater is the last thing you think about, and because of that, you're able to hold your breath for at least 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes to an hour. You could just sit down there underwater without any type of gear. If he know what I know, that's the last thing you're thinking about is taking a breath. Because as soon as you think about, oh, I need to breathe, now all of a sudden you're like, oh, shoot, I need to go up and breathe. Because your brain going to compute to your body that I need air. So when you're under the water, you never think about I need air. You never think about I need air. Because then you're telling your body, I need air. That's the last thing you want to think about when you're in the water. That's like somebody in the water, they think they're about to drown. And then most likely, <laughs> It's like you don't you don't ever think about those type of things ever, ever, ever. You don't ever think about fears when you're in the water. Never. You sit in, you get in that water, and you start thinking, I'm gonna get eaten up by a shark, and your heart gonna start beating. Now all of a sudden, all the fish around is is feeling the pop the potations, whatever. How have you said that word? The fish is feeling your heart beating in the water because it's ele electrical. So again, when you're in the water, even when you're on land, you never send out fear. You never broadcast fear. You never do that. Never, ever do that. This is this is the point of these tests and things like that is to get over the fears. So again, if he was a swimmer, he understands how to stay under the water and, and be under there for a long time without thinking about being cold or, oh, I need to go off of air and things like that. That's that's the last thing you he thinking about. Trust me on that. Go, go, go. Oh, you got another bag. Well, you got 700 grand on the boat. Just stop now. Just stop now. Just leave nope. it at the bottom of the lake. We can do the next one. Nope. All right, he doesn't care. At this point, the car was literally at the bottom of this 45-foot deep lake. 45. Making it almost impossible for Mac to retrieve the last $100,000. Yeah, it ended up really cannot. It's black down there. There's nothing. Are you officially calling it? I can't see the car, Jimmy. It's gone. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the boat's tilting. Wow. You are very athletic. Do you like this video better or the other video better? Dude, this video is like 10 times as intense. I know. And even though this looked very crazy, there was actually seven safety divers on standby to make sure Mac didn't die. Your prize is now 700 grand. But from here on out, it's okay. all or nothing. Didn't I tell y'all he always got some type of security or safety people there? Right. He can't do none of this without security and safety. He can't even make the video without it. So make sure, man, if y'all ever get a chance to get on something with Mr. Beast that y'all go all the way, bro. Don't settle for less. Go all the way.
Mac has to face the not a move. Mac fears to walk out of this with his 700 grand. This okay. might be the hardest. He got seven, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> is it grosser than spiders? Should just come on in. Inside this room is a metal box. In order to progress, you'll need to reach inside the box and pull out what's inside. And before you put your hand in the box, we're gonna need you to sign this. It just basically says that you can't sue me if anything in there hurts you. <sighs> just sign right there. All right, we got it signed. <laughs> what is it, like an animal or something? Uh, there are things in this box. Uh, just step up here. You put your hand in one of these holes. Okay. And there's a thing in here you need to pull out. Oh, dude, that is freaky as duh. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure it's moving. Stop. Okay, go for it. It clearly has not touched it. No matter what, once you grab onto it, you have to pull it out. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad he, he signed and continued to go. Mr. Beast is funny for that one. That was funny. That's good, dog. Okay. What you found is our brand new Beastable Bars. <laughs> Brandy and a better tasting formula. Let's try it together. I am not gonna go soft on you. I'm gonna tell you honestly what I think. Okay, uh, that's pretty good. The new formula is milkier, creamier. We have our all-new crunch flavor, the milk chocolate flavor, almond flavor, my personal favorite, and peanut butter. These new and improved feastable bars are rolling out now. Give us a couple of days to get them. That's cool. On the shelves of your local Walmart, Target, 7-Eleven, and I cannot wait to see what you think of them. Hey, okay, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check Walmart, Target, see if I can find some within uh, the next month. All right. All right, Mac, you ready for the next fear? Jimmy, I've been in this exact same room and I've had a bunch of money on the line before. Yep. I'll tell you what. If you give me 500 grand right now, I'll walk. Do you guys hear this, man? <laughs> Jimmy, who asked for 500 grand? 400 grand. No. Hear me out. If you said 200, maybe 250, I would have considered it. Uh, how about 350? No. <laughs> All right, let's go. Next challenge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I might have lied. That one wasn't act <laughs> actually that hard. But this next one is actually based on one of the scariest things I've ever done. Oh, there's no way. Now, how quickly he pieced it together. No, 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 no. There is actually no way. Come on. There is actually no way, Jimmy. Is it that obvious what it is? Yeah. You gonna bury him alive? <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. It looks obvious. And Mac, loser of 700,000, and you finna bury him alive. That's what it looks that obvious to me. But let's see, let's see. Maybe let's not. Let's see what gave it away. The tombstone with your name? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. For the next challenge, we are going to bury you alive. I told y'all. I told y'all they was going to bury him alive. Yep, and it says for 24 hours. See, the thing about this one right here, I wouldn't even be scared. Why? Because, again, it's Mr. Beast, right? We know he's going to come back and he's going to make sure that he finishes the event. He's going to make sure that he finishes his, his video. He's going to make sure that he finishes the competition. So he's going to make sure that in 24 hours that he digs this man back up out of the ground. Somebody who doesn't trust Mr. Beast or don't trust humans or don't trust people in general, they're going to be like, I'm not getting in there. Oh, no. No, no, no. Forget this. Oh, huh? right. Unconditional love, bro. Everybody ain't going to do you wrong. Everybody ain't going to do you dirty. 24 hours. Ah, no what? way, dude. And you can get out whatever you want, but you don't know what time it is. And if you leave before the 24-hour mark, you lose everything. It's a good fear. Oh wow! Yes. For once, I'm on the other side. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh my gosh! It might get a little cold. Oh no! And don't mess it up. I'm uh, trying not to. Uh, this is from my nightmares, man. It feels wrong being on the other side, but also fun. Oh, what the? Oh, this is so freaky. The funny thing is that the timer hasn't even started yet. Can you fully bury? It feels wrong saying this, but can you bury me faster? <laughs> Bring in the extra hand. What do you mean, stop? Let's officially start the timer. Looks like 24 hours just started. I'm already freaked, so this ain't gonna be good. Max, see that rope above your head? Can you pull it from me real quick? Is this a trick? No. Next time you pull that bell, we will dig you up. And if it does not say above 24 hours, you lose everything. I will burn your house down. <laughs> and also the $700,000. Yeah, I was like, everything? Everything. Sweet dreams, Mackin. Uh, don't throw the walkie-talkie. Oh, 
Isn't that predictable? <laughs> I know they threw it, and I'm not even up there. It's so much more fun to be on this side. Because he's so predictable. Especially after you don't watch so many of his videos, and you know, he's been in them, a lot of them, so he's, he's, he's predictable at this point. Very. And to make sure Mac doesn't die in his own grave, he's going to be wearing this wristband that directly tells us his heart rate and vitals. And no Matt, just go to sleep. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, just go to sleep, bro. And then as soon as you wake up, be like, ah, I don't feel like getting up. And just go back to sleep. Do that three times. And if you do have the eight hour sessions, then yeah, that's 24. See what I'm saying? Most people normally wake up in between four hours, right? So that might take you six times, but regardless, you know, we can get it done, right? <laughs> yeah, because six times four is what? 24, right? 24 hours? Okay. So every four hours, he going to wake up. You might piss in your pants. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because if you got to use the bathroom, if he ate anything, he's going to crap himself. If you got to do it, bro, just do it. Like I said, go ahead and finish your contest, man. No, <laughs> does not give him any way of knowing what time it is. Basically, I need to figure out how to keep track of the time. So here's my strategy. I could try to stay awake for two hours, sleep for ten hours, and then I would be halfway done with the challenge, and I could just do that twice, and then I'd be good. With Max Land now in place, his first step was to pass the time for the next two hours. Oh, it's a feastful Oh wait, some food in your and drinks? Oh, you good, bro? Or, but I guess it makes hunger stop. But it was pretty obvious he was quickly getting bored. Mm -hmm. Should have drunk some of that water, though. <laughs> You're gonna be honest. Not much going on inside this room. That's the whole point. And Matt <laughs> being bored this early is a pretty telltale sign that he may not be too good at this. Because already within 45 minutes, Mac's idea of time was horrendously off. I think it's been about two hours. <laughs> We're trying to get about 10 hours of sleep, which should put me at the halfway mark. Even though the pro to sleeping is it will help Mac pass the time faster. First night sleeping in the car. Okay, that's good. That you can turn the lights off. Because if you couldn't turn the lights off, it would have been like, man, them bright lights. It's been hard for him to go to sleep, so that's good. Con is, it's very difficult. Yeah, he definitely can't track time. A lot of people can't, but he definitely can't track time. <laughs> for him to keep track of how long he's been married, especially when he's not even able to stay asleep for more than 30 minutes at a time. Wow. I have no idea what time it is right now. I'm a little creeped out. <laughs> I'm hoping for the love of God. It's been over 12 hours. I think that's where we're at. And because when I did this challenge, I was constantly woken up by my friends. Jimmy Jam! I thought I'd give Mac the same joyful experience. Oh, gosh. Oh, he making it harder. Wake up, Mac! Are you okay? Whoa! Dude, you look like you just got hit by a truck. It kind of feels like I did just get hit by a truck. <laughs> if I was to legitimately guess how many hours that I am, I think it's like... The longer Max stayed in the coffin, the less he seemed to know what time it was. Might be hour 16. And because we like to build a lot of suspense on this Maybe four hours off. Panel, for the remainder of this fear, you're not going to know how long he's been in there either. <laughs> and even though Mac wanted to ensure that he was going to be there long enough, it was clear the claustrophobia was getting to him. Being in this coffin is scary. Like... That, and the longer I'm in here, the worse I feel. It's a crazy feeling. Eventually, wow. when we saw Mac begin to grab that rope, we knew he was thinking about ringing that bell. That's the face of somebody that's about to ring this bell soon. There's no way it's been under 24 hours. <laughs> I've been in one of these videos before. Just stay in there. Stay in there until they dig you up, bro. Like, what are you doing? Stay in there until they dig you up, bro. Like... It's Jimmy, bro. You know they're going to dig you up, bro. Like, you know what I mean? It ain't Sam from down the street. It's Jimmy. They're going to dig you up, bro. Anything, and if anything was to happen to you in there, they're going to even dig you up even faster. So you have no worries, bro. All you got to do is just chill out, bro. I get it, though. A lot of people got big screen times, long screen times, you know? They can't do nothing without devices and having some type of entertainment. I like to read books. I'm not gonna lie. 
But since I started reading books, once I got out of high school, I learned how to be more patient with my time. Able to just chill. That's all he needs to do is just chill, bro. Like, you got this in the bag, bro. This, 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 I mean, this is one right here. This one's in the bag. You just, the next one, what's, what's coming next? Because you already got this in the bag, bro. And the only reason I even am back here at all and got a second chance is actually because of you guys. Me screwing up that second chance all comes down to if I know for a fact it's been 24 hours. I really hope I'm not making a mistake right now. No, don't pull yeah. that. Don't yeah. pull that. How you doing? Give me an I don't want to accidentally reveal the time, so no comment. Jimmy, I don't know how you did this for seven days, dude. I do not feel well in here. Yeah. Have you got to the point where you start to lose blood flow in your leg? And you feel like your back is going to fall out of your body? <laughs> Jimmy, I'm thinking about pulling this thing. No oh. comment. Jimmy, I'll give you 50 bucks back if you tell me what time it is. No comment. He did seven days. You can't even do one. Like, he's, he's mentally beating himself. <laughs> Cause he wants to get back outside like bro it's 24 hours bro calm down you are a grown ass man that's the problem bro you are a man and you sitting here acting like a girl bro stay in the coffin for 24 hours bro it's simple that's simple you ain't claustrophobic bro what are you talking about <laughs> all right well i got a comment for you just get a shovel ready all right three no. oh my gosh she's about to do it no. two this is it. One. Oh! Stop the timer! And now that Mac has okay. made his decision, there was just one last thing I had to do. So how much time was left? Hopefully it wasn't an hour. Hopefully it was 24. Do you mind if I tell them about Shopify where we unbury you? You have got to be kidding. Shopify is a platform that helps <laughs> entrepreneurs get started down the path they want. Sometimes starting a business can be scary, like getting covered in spiders or being buried alive. I can tell you, you do not want to be buried alive. But Shopify is here to help. If I hadn't started my own business, I wouldn't have been able to go to all the crazy places like Antarctica and make videos like these for you guys. And just like billions of other people have done with Shopify, you can get started today on your <laughs> business right now. Max, do you want to know how long you're in there? I have a feeling you're not going to tell me until you dig me up. You are correct. And one of the perks of owning my own business is I can do fun things like send one of my friends to the Super Bowl. Mac, Carl, and Nolan each have their very own football for sale. And whoever's football sells the most, I'm going to give you tickets to the Super Bowl. And I'm going to bury the other one alive. All that matters is that you download the shop app and vote for one of them by buying either Nolan's or Carl's football. And now that I can afford this video, let's see if Mac loses $700,000. Uh, hey, Jimmy. Yeah. Welcome to the outside world. Now that you are out of the coffin, let's see if you are in there for 24 hours. If the number I reveal is lower than 24 hours, then you lose 700. Uh. I would have stayed in there 48 hours just to make sure. That what I'm saying, like, bro. I know. All right, it looks like we have enough time. He should be over the 24 hours. I think he above the 24. I think he above the 24. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yes. Whoa, he was way past. That's what I was thinking. I was saying I would go way past. Yes. So he stayed in there for a day and almost a half. Yes. Because uh, 24 plus 12 is 36. He stayed in there for a day and a half. That's what I would have did too. Just to make sure. Good job, bro. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. He scares me. Congratulations, yeah. man. This means that you are now just one challenge away from winning all this money. Let's go. You got this. Yeah, so, uh, it's not great. So far in this video, this. Mac has shown me it is very difficult to scare him. But the final challenge of this video may just be Mac's worst fear ever. And that's because the final challenge of this video is a one-to-one -one recreation of the challenge he failed on last time. Challenge. Oh. Is it funny if you just don't look? Yeah, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Right, keep your eyes closed. Oh. Don't open them. Don't open your see, eyes. See, I didn't get to see that one, but I'm pretty sure him seeing this again, he gonna be like, ooh. Looking at the time, y'all, he gonna get that 700 for sure. Keep walking. Don't open them. Looking at the don't time, he gonna get it. Alright. Open them. Again, dude. I'm over here. Oh, Jimmy! I do not want to do this again. Stand here. I want to do 
where the cameras can see you. Okay. You gotta face your fears. You failed last time, so you have to do it again. That's the same as life, bro. Every time you fail to face one of your fears, life is going to keep sending that fear in front of you. Each time you run away from that dog because you're scared of dogs, it's a big dog. It's not a small dog. You're scared. Life going to keep sending them big dogs your way just to get you to get over your fears. Yes, get over your fears. You are a man. Step up to the plate. What are you doing? Come on, man. You got all these kids out here. You got adults watching you right now. You're getting eight hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars, man. We want to see you face your fears, so that way you can you can instill into us the same type of confidence and wisdom to face our fears too. Now do it. I don't care about none of that. I don't even care about the money. Face your fears, bro. Uh, we recreated the set where he lost eight hundred thousand dollars in this video. And like last time, the rules are extremely simple. There are four stages. Each has its own cookie with this shape on it. You have to cut out all the shapes without breaking a cookie. And if you do break a cookie, you lose seven hundred thousand dollars. Ah, uh, I've seen this challenge before somewhere else. Okay, it's, so it's only four cookies though, right? Each one has one cookie though, right? It's not like four cookies on the first door, four cookies on the second door. Four. If it's if it's one cookie each door. Ah, you should be straight. Take your time. For you specifically, it will have been the second time it's happened. Take your time, bro. This is you got my this. nightmares, man. I do not want to be here again. You got this. Because I have an offer for you. You can quit right now okay. and walk away with this 300 grand. Or, or risk it for the biscuit. And if you finish this final challenge, win $700,000. I ain't gonna lie, uh, I ain't gonna lie, uh, 300 might just be got ticking right there. Cause I'm thinking, cause it's a, it's a cookie, it's a cracker, right? <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? It's a cracker. And crackers, uh, sometimes they do break in different ways so easy. So I'm just like, hmm, yeah, three, 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 300, uh, you can flip the three into seven within a week. So it's like, you see what I'm saying? It's like, eh? At seven, you can definitely flip that into a couple mil, though. But if you... you I wouldn't want to leave with nothing. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Y'all let me know what y'all go. Is it 300? Or y'all going to continue the game for 700? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know. This is actually, like, a very yeah, it's big, a big decision. decision, bro. Yeah, because that's not quite enough, is it? It's less than half. But if you lose I mean, again... That is it's, it's more. I mean, it's more than what you came with. You said it's less than half. It's more than what you came with, my G. Like I said, you can turn it three hundred into nine, three six nine. You know what I'm saying? We doing Tesla stuff right now. You can turn it three six nine. We can, you know what I'm saying? We can, we can, we can multiply that. But if you leave with zero, we can't multiply zero. It makes zero. Zero is zero. If you leave with three hundred K, I'll show you how to make nine hundred K off three hundred K easily. But you better win this, man. $1.5 million lost on this set. <laughs> Are you right. Sure? Oh, he's hitting it. Mac, I know this is hard, but you're going to have to make a decision here. So don't do be greedy. With $300,000, or do you want to risk it all for this final challenge? Don't be greedy, bro. All right, fine, I'm doing it. Right. Oh, shoot. I'll tell you about greed, bro. That's in the Bible, bro. They say don't be greedy. But anyways, we'll see. Let's see. I I'm thinking he's going to make it through. Because of how much time is left in the video, I think he's going to make it through. I have faith in Matt, bro. That's his name, right? Be honest, I have faith in you, bro. I want you to win this whole thing. Yeah, I want him to win, too. Right here. This is exactly how long it took Matt to get through all four stages last time he did the challenge. 34 minutes and 54 seconds. So that's exactly how long I'm going to give you again. Starting now. Don't break the cookie while opening it. Right. There you go. Even though he's going quick right now, it might not be in his best interest because if he accidentally snaps the cookie, he loses. 34 minutes. Oh, wow, you did it that quick. Scan, 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 scan! He ain't playing. He licked the crap out there because much different deal than last time. I'm gonna take my sweet time cutting the circle out. Let's go! He is flying through this. Why is there so much harder to open? Probably because you're like freaking out. You want me to try? Oh, 
Det kan komme ind. Okay, it's very hard to open. How are you guys doing? I want to be responsible for that. <laughs> be careful. Theoretically, Max strategy makes sense. Getting through the easier shapes fast to save all the time for Umbrella, which you lost 800 grand on. You literally still have 32 minutes left. You know, I'm gonna need all 32 of those for Umbrella. That is borderline impossible. Move out. Oh, I'm moving. <laughs> Move out. Open it. Yeah, circle triangle. Okay. Allow me. Oh. <laughs> all right. Left, 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 left. Let's go. You got the star next. You got this, man. You got this, man. You got this. Max, stop breaking my set. Right. He needs that for more people to, like, everybody else want a, ch a chance too. Don't break it now. Gotta make these easier to open. There's just no need to rush. You're literally using no time. I mean, you might need to go slower on this one because it's a lot trickier. Nah. This one's pretty hard. Not even close, Umbrella. I'm trying to get to the race before I start racing. No, you gotta cut it straight so down. Cut it straight down. It's a, it's a star. Just keep cutting it straight. All the way straight through. All, yeah, all the way out. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. That's easy. <gasps> what just happened? Oh my gosh. <gasps> well, I don't need that anymore. I, uh... Um... No, man! There's no way! Wow. Let me say, we can't multiply zero, bro. You could have took the 300 and just came on another show and, and, and made another meal on top of that. It would have been 1.3. I mean, of course, Jimmy going to give you another try. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? He likes you and he likes how you do his games, right? Very entertaining. But man, I was not expecting this job, bro. Not on this one. I thought at least he's going to get to the umbrella. <sighs> like I said, he always have another chance. Though. There's always another chance, bro. You always have another chance, bro. But again, what I said before, it's in the Bible, bro. It's greed, bro. You don't want to be greedy, bro. It was three hundred dollars right there, three hundred thousand right there in front of your face. You touched it. And a lot of people get greedy, especially if they never had no money before. They never seen that type of money. They never touched that type of money. Never been in their account. As soon as they see, they they just want to throw their whole life on the line for. It. And that's what I'm saying, like. And it's not. It's not. The love of it is the love of money is the root of all evil though. You can like money, you can like what money does for you, you can use it as a tool, but the love of money, that's greed. So instead of you taking the 300, you want the 700. Because you want more. That's greedy. That's being greedy. And I said that before. And then you're dealing with a cookie. Like I said, cookies break any type of way. Sometimes you open up the Oreo box and some of the cookies are already broke before you need eh, the cookies already broke for. Right? Sometimes you open up the Pringles can and the, and the chips are already on broken up. So it's like, you're going to put 300,000, 700,000 on a line for a cookie. Me being smart, like I said, I told you, I would have just took 300. Like I said, I would have just took the 300. If he he's offering it, he offered it. He's like, yo, do you want to take the 300? Take the 300 or just continue? Man, let me go ahead and get the 300. If he never offered that, then it's like, okay, let's start this competition. Let me go ahead and get this done so I can get my 700. But since he offered it up, because he didn't want you to lose, he didn't want you to lose with no money. This I'm talking about Jimmy has a kind heart. And that's what I'm saying. When you're dealing with Jimmy, you got to really listen to what he's saying and what he's doing. Because all he's trying to do is help you win. The game is set up, but he's still trying to help you win. Right? 
And maybe it didn't break all the way through? Ooh, okay. Um, he still had 29 minutes left. He did the first two in four minutes. <laughs> Twice? Yeah. Here. Give me your hand. No, Jimmy, please. I don't want to leave yet. No, Jimmy. What you mean? No, oh, dude. I don't even like I don't even know how to feel right now. It's time like, to go, bro. Right, come on. <laughs> I had like so much time. Yeah. I'm still just not sure why you were going so fast. The umbrella. I just I just know that umbrella takes forever. Yeah. Okay told me in this video that there was nothing I could do to scare him. And after putting him through spiders, a sinking car, wow. and more, I really did start to believe him. Godspeed. The only thing that ended up getting to Mac was the fear of his own failure. Godspeed. Yeah. Literally. His own fear of him failing and him getting not being able to complete the umbrella or failing it, it it literally caught him. And that's why when you compete, not even compete, but whenever you're doing something, you always think of yourself as the best. You know what I'm saying? The greatest. Whatever the case may be. You gotta have that mumba mentality. You gotta be like Steph Curry on the on, on the field. Every time you step in, you gotta come in courageous. You gotta be you gotta be there for everybody. You know the world. You got the whole world on your back. You know what I'm saying? Captain Hero type type love. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you gotta walk in courageous. You can't walk in fearful because then everybody looking at you. All the women looking at you. The kids looking at you. They like if he's scared, then I'm gonna be scared. Remember, you're a man. So if you scared, you gonna make them scared. So even if you scared, you can't show that. You gotta you gotta come up there like Superman and be like, yo, we finna handle this. You're courageous. It don't matter, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So it don't matter what's in front of me, we're gonna get through it. And we always gonna make it through. But again, you come up with fear where, oh, I don't want this challenge, oh, this that challenge, ah. And you should have already right then and there it was like, you know what? As soon as he told you, take the 300, you should have been like, you know what? I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that three. But like I said, it's totally fine, y'all. He's going to have another chance. Jimmy has a kind heart. I promise you, he's going to give him another chance. He He's he not going to leave that man without giving him another chance. It might be not until next year, but he definitely going to get another chance. And the thing is, that's a great opportunity, bro. Some of us don't even, don't even get one chance, right? You're going to have two. Man, you're a very lucky guy, bro. See y'all on the next one. We out. Peace.